All righty, welcome to another Arena Cube Draft. You know, we got plenty of Vintage Cube coming up, especially with the new uh, try to qualify for the World Championships of Cube, the Ultimate Guard thing. And uh, I want to do one last Arena Cube here before we get into that, because I'll be doing, a, like I said, a lot of chances to queue. And I really like this Arena Cube. I've probably done about 10 of these. Okay, there's a Snapcaster Mage here and an Arid Mesa. They're both very good. I think I'm going to take Snapcaster. The reason is... People just don't take fetch lands at a reasonable rate here. Like, we'll see how this goes, but I'm willing to bet that I'll just see like a six pick fetch land or something, or something like that in this draft. And I think Snapcaster is quite good. So, no, there's a March Flat, second pick fetch land. Now I'm going to take it. There's a Gopher to Throat, Confounding Riddle, Ocelot Pride. Look, I do talk about how good this card is and then don't take it a lot, but that's just because it's a very specific deck. You just have to have a lot of white mana and a low curve before it's good. And, or really where it's at its best. And I'm not starting there, but I will just happily take a Marsh Flats here. If I can get a Lurus, then we're really talking. But um, I think uh, Snapcaster Mage has there's just a lot of good cheap removal spells and counter spells. And it's very good with all of those. Oh, I love a Lingering Souls. And I have a Marsh Flats already. Lingering Souls, I just found to be so good. I do like Sublime Epiphany, but you know, this cube's gotten better, more powerful, faster. This card is no longer, you know, the bee's knees, as it were. And same with Elspeth Conqueror's Death. They're both good cards. I'll put them in my deck, but I'm actually pretty happy just taking Lingering Souls here, especially after taking Marsh Flats and having a real good start to an Esper mana base. But, you know, if my uh, previous drafts are any indication... I'm probably not going to be Esper. I'm probably just going to be like four or five colors, depending on how many fetches and triumphs I get past. But uh, we'll, we'll have to see about that. Oh, it's my lucky day. There's Luris of the Dream Den. And we have Lingering Soul, Snapcaster Mage, Marsh Flats. Mm, the perfect start. All right. Very happy about that over like Elite Spellbinder, Unholy Heat, Lightning Strike. Yeah. Oh, this is the now we're in the zone. This is exactly where I want to be. Having a fetch land, a snap, a lingering souls, and a Luris is my first four picks. Look, I don't draft Arena Cube like I'm gonna get Luris every time, but you know, all else being equal, I kind of like to leave myself open because I found Luris to be so good. Oh, and now I get to slam a pest infestation. I do love that. There's also Usher of the Fallen, but and I guess Fang Flames, but I think. With the good fixing you can get, Pest Infestation is not hard to cast. Huh. This is kind of an interesting one because I do like Cold Steel Heart, but I, I again have found my valuation of this card has dropped as, as mana fixing has been a little easier to get. But I guess that said, I only have the one Marsh Flats. I'm going to take the Raven Inspector. Sun Petal Grove's okay, but I just want to fetch dual Triome mana base, and Thraben Inspector's really good as a little speed bump, draws you a card, and it's fantastic with Luris. Having a one mana play to just immediately slam, awesome. Oh, and Journey to Nowhere is also pretty good. I don't think I want any of these two drops up here. Let's see, this, this cube is really good for Luris, I found. Um, and I think Journey to Nowhere is better than Long Goodbye. Though I guess Snapcaster Mage makes me want Long Goodbye. There's also just Shattered Sanctum, which I think I'm actually just going to take. Th this I like this, these lands that enter untapped as long as you have three lands. They're, they're pretty good in this kind of deck. Oh, I love Dig Through Time. Even in a Luris deck where you can sometimes end up in a spot where you don't want to exile all the stuff from your graveyard. It's really good. So is Savine's Reclamation. Good way to get back Luris. I like having one of those. I mean, maybe the dig doesn't make it. We'll have to see. But I, I like the idea. Oh, and I, I'm a pretty big gopher to throat fan too. All right. So maybe we're no red here. We could just be like Esper Splash Pest Infestation sort of thing. We'll have to see if that works out. But that's a good direction to go. Oh, and then here. Hmm. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. I don't think it's that likely to work out here. I just don't, even though it's, it's good with Luris, but am I going to have enough creatures? Yeah, you know what? Settle the Wreckage is not a card I'm going to worry about missing. And I guess I'll take Lightning Strike if my mana works out for it. It'll be fine. Oh, Usher, sure. I'll take it. Oh, and Vanishing Verse. All right. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what we get. Pack two here. Oh, I do love a Sunfall. Sunfall and Toxic Deluge are both very good in Luris decks. These are not the right lands, really, which makes it easier. And, you know, I'll probably get one of these blue cards back. I wouldn't be surprised. Duels of the Mind, also kind of nice. Mm, I think I'm going to take the Sunfall. I feel like that's going to be going to be better for... It's just a much more high-impact card, though. The argument for Deluge, I guess, is that Deluge all my stuff away, then I can lure it back. Maybe that is better. I don't know. 
I kind of like to avoid paying life if I can. Uh, this is not a very exciting pack because like a lot of the best cards are not lurisable, but Get Lost is pretty good. And Lazav is fine, but Lazav always wheels basically. And if it doesn't, not that not a big deal. Ooh, I like a captivating crossroads. Crucius and Chandra are very good, but this it ETB is tapped. Uh, sorry, it ETB is tapped only if you were the player on the play and your first three turns, and it adds a mana of any color you name it when you play it. Oh, there is also an underground mortuary. That's pretty nice with pest infestation. Oh, I can go get it with marsh flats now. I got to take mortuary here. Spell Pierce is is fine in this in this cube, but. Less good than it is in Vintage Cube. There's more creatures and fewer spells. All right, and here, a Temple Garden is also pretty nice. Not a big Blue Suns Twilight fan. I mean, it's fine. Dust Animus is okay. Manatide is okay. I think Temple Garden is good. And hmm, maybe I'm wrong about these fetch lands. Maybe, uh, maybe fetch lands are, are, are getting taken at a high level now. Well, that'd be nice too. And here we've got a bunch of cards that don't fit with Luris. There's Valky, but I don't think Valky's that good. Black Cleaf Cliffs is fine. I don't have any red cards yet. I'm not a big Scavenging Ooze fan, though. If I end up with more green, I've got two green fixing. I don't know. Spyglass Siren's also pretty decent. I actually don't mind this with Luris in general. And in here... Oh, I love Inquisition of Kozilek, so I'll be slamming that over Treasure Map. Treasure Map is just kind of slow. Like, there are some decks that can use it, but... Oh, now Languish. There's also Blood Tithe. That'd be first red card. Maybe I just do take the Languish. Languish is a is another nice sweeper. Because the... And I'm going to take Priest out. I just don't think this is exactly where I want to be. The Priest... I have a lot of uh, sweepers. The Priest doesn't really work as well with those. Though it's good with Usher. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, not really into Ephemerate. What is this thing? Four mana, four, five reach. You either get a Savage Stomp or a Naturalize. That's funny. There's also Murderous Rider. No, can't can't take that. Lonely End. Minus three, minus three, or remove three loyalty counters from a Planeswalker. They ain't Evolve Sleeper. I think I'll just take... Nah, Evolve Sleeper's actually not bad. Let's just take that. I, I have Gopher to Throat and Vanishing Verse. Oh, Deluge Wield. So did Shieldra's Edict and Duelist of the Mind. <laughs> All the cards I want... Well, I can play any of these cards. I think I'll just take the Deluge. It's the third Sweeper, so I probably don't need more, but it is not a bad one. And then uh, Lazav is fine, too. Oh, Captain and Crossroads Wield? All right, I'm happy about that. I do like Spell Pierce, but it's a lot better. Drown and Icker, probably not playing that one. I don't think Vanishing uh, Versus or Vanishing Hope or whatever is very good for me either. Then I'll take a Black Cleave Cliffs in case I do want to play some red. So I got a lot more black this pack than white. I don't think I took a Get Lost. It's the only white card probably. Oh, and Sunfall. Okay, well... Going into pack three, I just want to pick up some lands mostly, and then maybe like a Fractured Identity or something like that. Just like a bigger, like a more expensive spell threat. Uh, sure, Hinterland Harbor, that's that's pretty free. You have to have Forester Island, that shouldn't be too hard. All right, what do we got? Any Swords to Plashers? No, we opened Fable. It's uh, one, of the, one of the best cards in the in the cube but unfortunately can't take it though i do like a malcolm a lot in this kind of deck sensor is also decent malcolm i think is a more powerful card even with all the sweepers again luris just makes it so you can kill your stuff and then replay it i guess phantom interference and sensor maybe one of those two wheels i'll be happy i mean if i can get some good esper lands this is also kind of like an esper aggro deck maybe i just take the languish out um Two mana, one, two, double strike. Spells from among you drew cards you drew this turn cost one less to cast, and spells from they, they're the spells they drew this turn cost one more to cast. That's not bad. I don't think Stoneforge Mystic's gonna gonna live the dream here. There's also two lands, and Ossification is good, and Spirited Companion's pretty good. Pretty hard to, to turn down Spirited Companion in a Luris deck, so I think I won't. There's a lot of cards I wanted out of that pack, though. Oh, Spar's Headquarters. Okay, I will take that. Oh, wait, no. Emerald Collector is busted. So it's a two-mana one-two. When it hits your opponent, you draw a card. Also, you can pay two and a green to make it a four-four, so it's kind of hard to block. And if you draw three cards in a turn, you get a Mox Emerald in your hand just once, but still. All right, I'm going to take Emerald Collector. I think that card is really, really good. And here there's an Adeline, but a pretty big Exclude fan. I found this card to be pretty great so far in like a removal deck. 
Oh, now there's a wooded foothills. Finally, another fetch land that can go get Temple Garden, Underground Mortuary. Yeah, that's already good enough. It's a white, green, black land, and that might improve. Still Lightning Bolt in the pack, too. It's kind of crazy. Hallowed Fountain is a nice one. I'll be happy to take that. Deathrite Shaman, not going to be as good in this deck just because I don't have as many fetches as normal. I just have the two. Still, two out of ten is still pretty good. And look, we got a fifth pick Wooded Foothills. That's, that's what I'm telling you. Not that that's the best fetch. That's just probably the worst fetch I could have gotten, but I think still still pretty solid here. And we've got two more picks. If I could just pick up like two more lands, honestly, I would be really happy. Because right now I'm at 30 cards with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 19 land because Luris actually doesn't count either. Oh, Mishra's Bauble for Luris. Yes, it's got to be. Over Kellen, Invasion of Gobakan. Yeah, Fell or Profane. Fell is good, but Mishra's Bauble is really nice. And then a Godless Shrine. Boom. Perfect. I mean, these spells are good, but I already have enough playables. And Godless Shrine is the perfect land. So... I think our mana base ended up just fine. Wooded Foothills now has a Raugrin Triumph to get. Perfect. That can I'll take that over Sensor because now it makes Wooded Foothills into blue as well. I also at this point have two red sources, but I don't think I'm going to splash red. There's no real need to do that. Okay, Captain Eberhard came back and sort of deserted Beach. Um, I do like. There's also Goldvein Hydra. Actually, is Goldvein Hydra the card I want? Oh, I think it is. I like Deserted Beach, but I think our mana is pretty good. And and this is a card I can play in my Luris deck that you can cast for a ton of mana. You can only cast it at a graveyard for two mana, but that's still pretty good. Oh, Portable Hole's great. Okay. So if I take the Luris out... Oh, wow. Murderous... Atroxa? Come on. Murderous Cut is great, but I already have Dig Through Time and Savine's Reclamation and Luris. I've got too much stuff going in the graveyard. So I honestly think I might want to just take a cantrip or a blink of an eye. I guess I'll take blink of an eye. It's pretty close. Oh, and then Hall of Storm Giants is fantastic. Though actually Fairy Mastermind is also really good. Uh, pretty big Fairy Mastermind hand. I, I feel like I'll have enough to do with my mana. Ill-Timed Explosion actually is a good card in these decks, but oh, Kellen, it's not nothing. Let's let's look at uh, how much we've got. So <laughs> Luris Companion. So we're a couple cards over here. I can definitely take out the Languish, I would think. Well, let's look at this deck. What am I trying to do? I don't have the Priest of the Lost Forgotten Gods in, which I think is fine. I mean, Usher of the Fallen is a little bit at odds with some of the stuff I've got going on here. How good is Vanishing Verse? Exile a Monocolor Permanent. Like, if I was playing, they could hit Portable Hole, hit Goldbane Hydra. Yeah, they could hit a couple cards. Malcolm. I kind of wanted to take out Usher and maybe Spyglass. No, Spyglass I actually kind of like. It, it's it's not quite Thraben Inspector, but it's got similar vibes. I think the Languish is actually going to be kind of good. This deck just is not a beatdown deck. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's 17. I don't even know why I counted it. I guess I actually knew that because it doesn't... Uh, it puts you at four. It adds up to seventeen. Um, do I want to get rid of a removal spell? I guess I will get rid of the siren. Let's see. I have portable hole, Mishra's bobble. Yeah, I've got a, enough stuff to bring back. I think I can do that, and then maybe just get rid of the vanishing verse. Keep blink of an eye, and languish. And right now, let's see. Green. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven green. I could probably even go to six green. Add another planes. Now two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten white. Black wooded foothills gets black. So you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black. Oh, maybe maybe I take languish out because I don't have enough black mana. Or I can play an 18th land. Hmm. I kind of like the siren though. And the Vanishing Verse. They're both decent. I'll put the Siren back in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue. Nine blue, ten white. Yeah. All right. This looks pretty good to me. And uh, let's see how this goes. All right. Time for round one. Let's see if uh, we can do some good lurising here. I'm on the play. Ooh, that's a nice little hand. Turn one, Thraben. 
in my Luris deck. I've got Get Lost and Snapcaster, and then at some point I've got Pest Infestation, though we're not uh, very close to that yet because we don't have green. We don't know if they're going to have any targets. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we only have one mana, but at some point, Pest Infestation will be good, I'm sure. Turn one, Cult Conscript. Okay. Well, there's my green mana, by the way. If a non skilled creature died in your control. All right. I right, just pass. I'm totally happy trading Thraben Inspector for that. So, against black, it's a little awkward to put Luris into your hand because they have discard spells, but. Really? You can't attack here. I would be surprised if it made sense to attack. But I might just put Luris into my hand next turn anyway if I have nothing better to do. And then I'll wait on this. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Okay. And they have a the tap land or a windswept teeth. So let's go ahead and crack this clue. See what we draw. Oh, I don't mind Spirited Companion. Yeah, let's go Spirited Companion. And then probably get Underground Mortuary with the Wooded Foothills. Oh, Toxic Dealers. Yeah, I love this deck. This deck, this deck's going to work out very nicely here. I'm just sitting behind my two cantrip creatures with my Wrath in hand and then a Pest Infestation for anything that I can't Wrath. And I've got Lurus and Snapcaster to draw me extra cards. Also, this Thraben and Spirited Companion have already paid off, so I feel pretty good about this. They did get a... Surveil and mill the delta. See someone else who who a uh, fetch land enjoyer. Very smart. They can attack with Knight of the Ebon Legion. How good is it to double block? I kind of don't want to double block because I want them to play more cards into Deluge. So I think I'll probably just chump with Spirited Companion is my guess. I really don't want them pumping it either. I would like them to put more things on the board. Hopefully not planeswalkers, I guess. So this can kill a planeswalker. Wedding announcement. Mm. And then they didn't attack with both to get their card? All right, well, let's get Underground Mortuary because I want to surveil. Sunfall. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Draw. I could Pest Infestation or Get Lost, the wedding announcement. But I don't really want to do that. Hmm. I don't really want to Pest Infestation it before casting one of my sweepers all that much. What else could I do? I don't really want them drawing a card off it, though, next turn. Maybe I just Pest Infestation it, and then I don't have to use the Sweeper for a while. That's probably fine. Them drawing a card off that just seems like a kind of a bad deal for me. Pass the turn here. And this puts them pretty far away from being able to attack me on the ground, so they'll have to play more things. And I have Snapcaster Pest Infestation, which costs a lot of mana, but certainly doable. Micaeus the Lunark. All right, so 3-3... Three, three put counters on their things. That I'm fine with. Um, I think I'm just going to put Luris into hand. Play Captivating Crossroads on blue. Past the turn. And hope they start making some attacks. And I want to get my creatures killed off and then cast one of my sweepers. But I feel like I can wait another turn and spend the mana on Luris. Gix. Oh, perfect. Because... This when they when their creatures hit me they draw a card but nothing's hitting me I'm gonna be doing mono blocks here they kind of have to do some attacking right be kind of weird not to um, I do think I want a sunfall so I don't want their cult conscript to die and I would like my Thraven Inspector and Spirit Companion to die do I want here let's do it like this. And then I'll, I could chump with the other pest, but I don't think I need another life here. And so I'd rather have the Sunfall be a 6 6 instead. Okay, Sunfall. Oh, they didn't kill my Spirit Companion. Oh, I was supposed to. Oh, I got mana tithed? Ooh, not drawing a land there was a beating. Okay. Didn't really think of mana tithe. Oh, they might get a card out of this. I guess that's not the end of the world. They're probably not even attacking with. Micaiah, so they'll get one card here. All right, let's go block, block. I'll take three, they draw a card. And then hopefully they pump. Well, I guess they could have pumped that, but I'm glad they didn't because hopefully they, cause they're they going to draw a card and hopefully they're going to play another creature here and then I'll deluge for 
looks like five. Okay, land is nice. So let's go toxic deluge x equals five. No, I need to do x equals seven. Just to, so the Knight of the Ebon Legion doesn't survive. Okay, those are down. And then I'll play Evolve Sleep. But I'm not going to play Luris until I can play something. Even with Savine's Reclamation out, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to do that. Mm. They can bring their uh, skeleton back. That's funny. Oh, they're going to Wandering Emperor? Sure. Um, they're going to make a 2-2. Two -two. The question is, do I want to just get lost? I think I do just want to get lost the Wandering Emperor here. All right, they've got a 2-2. Next turn, I can go Luris. Manatide on Sunfall was like a pretty big swing, but I feel like I'm doing just fine here. Luris, and I can replay a Spirited Companion or Thraven Inspector, depending on what makes the most sense. I also have Snapcaster for Deluge or Pest Infestation or Sunfall. All right, I'll take two. If they had used some map tokens on it first, maybe I would have done something different. Oh, their own Luris. Look at you. All right, let's draw land. I think I'm gonna sweep her again here. <laughs> All right, they take one. So let's say we go Snapcaster, Deluge. So I can actually pump this once. Cause I think I'm gonna use a Toxic Deluge here. Cause I want my Snapcaster in the graveyard still. And then Toxic Deluge this time for two. All right. And then now I've got Luris and Savine's Reclamation ready to go. They have a five drop. What is this? Beginning of your post-combat main phase, if you gain life this turn, seek a card. Oh, wow. All right. Well, let's go Luris. Snapcaster Mage on get lost and give them some more map tokens and i just need one turn of them not playing something so i can have exclude up and kind of lock the game out but probably going to play something big this turn they've been stuck on four lands for a few turns they drew their fifth and played something oh get lost the luris i'm happy enough with that because now i can just go savine's reclamation get back luris land spirited companion leave up exclude and I will attack for two here, pass the turn. And if they don't do anything, I'll cycle Raugren Trium. Nothing, no plays, all right. Cycle the Trium. Draw, draw. Um, let's play the Evolved Sleeper. I don't really need to draw an extra card this moment. And do I want a map token? Luris? It has lifelink, but I feel like all my eggs are in the Luris basket right now anyway, so it's no real reason to do that. Portable hole, I'll bin. I could even play it with Luris at some point. And put one on Spirited Companion. Fairy Mastermind, I'll bin. And play land. And if I play Lazav, I still have Exclude up. And then I'm not that worried about a Sweeper because I've got a... Savine's Reclamation. It's a really good card to have in these decks. Archangel Avacyn. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested in that one. All right. And then now they take seven here. So they're just dead next turn. If they do draw Sweeper, if unless it's a Sunfall, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. And boom. just That's exactly how we drew it up. Literally exactly. And uh, we're going to keep going here. All right. 1-0. and oh, Let's battle. All right, time for round two here. And it's a draw. Nice. All right, time for actual round two. Playing against, uh, I think that's Rakdos? I don't know. Well, I'm never going to mulligan a hand that has Eternal and Thraven Inspector. That's impossible. I, I guess assuming you have a second land. But this hand's also good. I mean, turn one Inspector, crack it, and then maybe just play a Goldbane Hydra on turn three or four, or something like that. And then I have Blink of an Eye up, Pest Infestation. And all Gucci here. Okay, land. 
Hit for one, pass the turn. And I guess I would like to play a 3-3 three, three gold vein. That seems pretty, pretty good. Oh, no plays. They have red, green, and red, white lands. Okay, well, I'm just going to spend the turn putting Luris into hand. It might mean that I don't get to get black with this wooded foothills, but I think that's all right. Oh, four color red. Because I can't get an untapped black source with this. I'm probably going to get Breeding Pool here. Oh, no, I have Temple Garden. Sorry, not Breeding Pool. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay, especially since I've got Blink of an Eye. Though I guess I don't have Double Blue for that either, but Wooded Foothills isn't going to solve that. And if this Hydra dies, then I get a bunch of treasures. And hopefully they don't have a way to exile it, though obviously they could. there's some removal spells they could have that would do that. I'm going to hope to draw a land here, I guess. My hand is pretty stacked. All right, so so 3-4, they can sack a land and put two Mishra's Foundries into play. So Mishra's Foundries, land that turns into Assembly Worker and can pump attacking Assembly Workers. It's a good card. Foundry, Groundbreaker is not bad. The question is, do I want to get lost it so I can attack? Probably. I still have Sunfall and Blink of an Eye, and I don't really want to Blink of an Eye this thing, obviously, getting a... Giving them two, another ETB is not a very good idea. But I suppose a land would be nice so I could, I guess, do something else. I guess I wouldn't really even be doing anything else alongside Get Lost. I just wouldn't mind drawing a land because I don't have any black mana, though. I don't have any black cards either, so not a big deal. All right. Shattered Sanctum is a good land to draw for sure. Um, Yeah, they don't really have time to use map tokens here. And I think I should just bash. I don't. I don't think I should play my Luris though. I feel like that would be. That would be a bit much. I have unkicked Blink of an Eye up. <laughs> I have unkicked Snapcaster Mage up. Um, if this Gold Vein dies, I get a bunch of treasures and I can do stuff. If they start putting map tokens on their land worlds, I guess that's fine. Kind of weird what their first couple turns were, but we'll see. Nexus of Becoming. Okay, I'm actually fine with that because I'll just pest infestation, it and whatever they make. Hopefully they don't put like an Atroxa into play. I guess I would be unhappy if they did, but they're getting to the point where they can cast most of these things. Okay, they put a Vantasaur into play and they're going to put Savage Stomp into their hand. <laughs> sure. I mean, it's pest infestation time. Oh, they should map token. They should definitely map token their, their Vantasaur here. Okay, they did. And they hit Radha. Eh, that's not a terrible one. Draw. X equals two. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's pretty great. <laughs> Kill your two things. Hit you down to six. And then now they have Savage Stomp, so they can put a counter on something and fight something. They, they can go Rodha, Savage, Stomp, kill your Gold Vein, but then I get a bunch of treasures. Killing my 1-1s one doesn't really seem like it does, does much. And they played a land from hand, so their top card is not a land. Though it's a nice combo with map token. Yeah, Gold Vein Hydra's pretty nice here. This one did like a lot of damage, now it dies into three treasures, which it's a pretty big game. I, now I have enough mana to do whatever I want. And map revealing the Virtuous Gear Hulk. I haven't seen that in a bit. Yeah, the Gear Hulk doesn't look like it's going to do too much here. Um, they're at six, so I can't quite kill them. I could blink of an eye. I guess with do I want to do it with kicker? No, I should. It's it's unfortunate, but I don't think I'm supposed to kick blink of an eye here. I think I'm supposed to hit. They block Thraben Inspector. They go to two. And then now I have Exclude up, plus I can play Snapcaster Mage into turn. Oh, maybe I should have just played Spyglass Siren, actually. Probably should have. Um, I'll exclude that. And these things cost two to activate. Yeah, they're not cheap. Feel the dead make a zombie. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Pest infestation. Oof. It's been coming in clutch, and we are 2-0. Oh. 
All right, time for round three. We took down Rakdos. Jace can't be harder than that. Let's see. I'm on the play. No Thraben this time, but turn two, Fairy Mastermind, turn three, Lingering Souls. I like that. Dig through time with Surveil Land. Ooh. Surveil Lands and Loris decks are so good. I'm, I'm glad I took the one. It would have been nice to have two, actually. Though I only have the two fetch lands, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. All right. Restless Anchorage. So we're playing against Blue White. Mm -hmm. That I have to keep, I think. Pest Infestation is just too good. I'd rather just run it. Mm -hmm. There's actually a lot of two mana counters. Maybe I should have just played the Fairy Mastermind. All right. Well, I guess it didn't matter. Kellen. So if they attack in their top cards, a creature, they can put it in their hand. You know what? I'm going to play Lingering Souls. I think the odds that their top card is a creature are just not high enough for me to need to spend my whole turn portable holing. Next turn, I can go portable hole plus uh, flashback Lingering Souls if I want. I could also use the Fairy Mastermind. So, oh, but I got punished. All right. I still think for mana efficiency purposes, I like my play. Restoration of a Ganjo. That seems like a good thing to pest infestation. Um, yeah, next turn, they discard a card and put it on tap. Let's just do this now. I'm not gonna, no reason to wait here, I don't think. Pest infestation, Hallowed Fountain on Kellen. Though I guess I actually could have just played Hinterland Harbor. <laughs> that would have been better. Whatever. I'll probably end up playing this Hallowed Fountain untapped at some point. I could even dig through time. I, I guess I'm not going to remove Lingering Souls, so that's probably not what I'm doing next turn. Next turn I could put Luris in a hand and flashback Lingering Souls. That might be a little bunch against a Sweeper, but it'll depend on what they play. If they play this Rona out, I'm a little more likely to do that. Okay. I also have Fairy Mastermind. And uh, maybe leaving mana up for Fairy Mastermind is decent. See, look, I hovered over Fairy Mastermind, then Rona, then they looked at Fairy Mastermind. Hovering is... Oh, wow. Goldbane Hydra. Let's see. They have a play they can make. This takes them to 10. Oh, we'll see if they have... If they're going to get lost that. Sure. Okay, and you know what? I think I'm just gonna play a Hydra for four. Obviously it would have worked out better to play it before attacks, but I didn't really want it to get it like, you know, make disappeared or no more lies or what have you. Especially when I'm in a spot where I feel like I could play around that. Good timing on their part. All right, so they've got five mana, five cards in hand. They can use their Rona if they want. And then next turn, I don't mind Exile and Fairy Mastermind if I have to for this dig through time. Um, let's put a counter on a pest. And oh, I'll put Sunfall into the graveyard. And then now that I've put the counter on the pest, I'll put a counter on another pest. Because that, or the same pest, because now if it hits another spell, which it did, oh, those are two spells I didn't really want to draw. I can attack past Rona. And I can still cast Dig Through Time, funnily enough. I'll attack with the 1-1 one, one Pest. I think that's fine. They also have Restless Anchorage they can animate, but if they're doing that, I'm really not that worried. They're, they're taking a ton of damage off this Hydra. I hope they don't have an Exile effect for the Hydra. Oh, geez. Not only an Exile effect, the Exile effect. Oof, okay. Oh, wait. Wandering Emperor can't kill the Hydra. It's got Vigilance. <laughs> that's pretty nice. All right, all right. Not, you know, Crisis averted. I'm probably going to dig exiling everything but Lingering Souls. I, I figure I'll have something to bring back with Luris here. No, you can't kill the Hydra. You can make a 2-2 two -two blocker, but you don't even have great blocks. All right, they're going to exile the 3-3 three -three pest. Block the 1-1 one -one pest. Takes 6 down to 8. And I could linger. Lingering Souls. Hmm could dig dig is pr I think dig is pretty nice leaving lingering souls in the graveyard and we'll see 
if I get spell pierced here, it's going to be so brutal. <laughs> and what do I want out of these? I, I guess I wouldn't hate picking up a land because you know what? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. I'm just going to go land Spyglass Siren so I can just play them both. Not the most powerful dig in the world, but that wasn't the most powerful set of cards. And I think Spyglass is kind of nice to have here. Just another flyer. Hit my land drop. I've got Luris. The map token's nice. It's good with Luris one way or another. All right. I didn't see any removal spells there. Exclude was the closest, and I was kind of tapped out. So, plus Exclude against Blue-White is not even necessarily the... The strongest. Oh, they're just doing nothing? Okay, uh, I guess I'll map token a 1-1 one, one flyer. Toxic Deluge, I'll bin that. Just don't need all my sweepers. This is not the sweeper matchup. And I'm going to play Spirited Companion and draw a card. Okay, Blink of an Eye is not bad. I'm going to pay two life. Go to attacks. Um, I think I'm just gonna attack them with everything. I don't think Wandering Emperor is that big of a deal, especially with Blink of an Eye and stuff. Settle the wreckage, okay. Do I wanna Blink of an Eye my Hydra back? Hmm, I kind of do, I'll have so much mana here. I feel like it's worth pulling it back, and then uh, using all the mana. Plus, I don't think I even have four basics to get here. I haven't milled any. Oh, they counterspelled it. All right, sure. Okay, take action. Oh, I do have exactly four. All right, that, that's fine then. All right. It's going to be a, a battle here. I don't actually have anything to lure us right now, but I'm sure I could find something. Yeah, classic blue-white controlness over here. And a Snapcaster Mage would be decent. I have, I'd probably replay Dig Through Time. I have enough mana for that. Yeah, I'm actually in a little bit of trouble here. Settle the Wreckage is pretty good. They have that Restless Anchorage too. They could flip Rona at some point. Oh, they're attacking with Rona. That's all right. Something I'm pretty happy about, because I was missing something to lure us here. And they didn't use Anchorage, and they haven't flipped Rona. So what do they have in their hand? Oh, a Null Drifter. Jeez, okay. Now I wish I had one of those sweepers back. <laughs> now I draw Exclude? All right, all right, whatever. Let's go Luris. Let's play Luris. Let's play the Doge. Keep exclude up. Play this name. Doesn't really matter. Uh, black, whatever. Pass the turn. I mean, Annihilator 1 against uh, Spirited Companion is not too bad. So Sunfall's exiled and Deluge is exiled. Fateful Absence, huh? All right. I mean, Savine's Reclamation at some point will be good. Let's see. Slamming here, Annihilator 1. Uh, I guess I will actually sack a permanent because I want to chump with the Spirited Companion here. The fact that I, my Sunfall's gone is pretty annoying. Even Deluge would be good here. It's going to be it's gonna be hard. Like the, the Settle into Null Drifter sequence was pretty tough. All right, well, at least I have an Exclude for that. That, that is a nice pickup. Okay, into Bobble. Need a Savine's Reclamation. There we go. All right, let's go Bobble and Bobble them. See what they're drawing. Mm -hmm. They could Rona, but I still see the top card <laughs> after all is said and done. Okay, Island, sure. Savine's Reclamation on Luris. I don't even know if I have enough cards left in my deck to, like, beat them. <laughs> we'll have to see. Luris, replay companion. Okay, go for the throat as a start, for sure. And let's go lingering souls. 
and pass the turn here. And I get to draw a card off Bobble as well. They drew an island. They didn't use Rona end of turn. They have like an Emrakul or something? What's going on? I'm probably going to go for to throw the Null Drifter here is what I would imagine. Savine's Reclamation can't really get back anything else. What do I have exiled? The Goldmane is exiled, unfortunately, and the Evolved Sleeper. Those are two of my like bigger threats. Restless Anchorage. Getting in there? Are we not using Wandering Emperor on anything first? Mm, -hmm. mm Snapcaster Mage is a, is a nice one. How many land do I have left? We're at that stage of the game. 5, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's three land left and 10 cards. And I know Snapcaster Mage is still left. Right. I'm going to blow up the Null Drifter before it attacks me here. I don't really want to sack anything. I'm going to be sacking enough permanence as is. All right, they get a map token. Um, it's first strike. Eight. I would really like to find a way to kill that samurai. All right, I'll take four, I guess. And I can kill Wandering Emperor, maybe. Well, they have one card in hand and a map token. Yeah, this will just come down to what the last couple cards are. All right, Seed Shark is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through almost the whole deck here. Yorian. I mean, they're going to keep it because it's just a big flyer, but it also could reset Wandering Emperor. It's pretty nice. And I'm going to get to draw a card end of turn off this clue. Oh, they didn't keep the Yorian. Huh, I don't agree with that, I don't think. But <laughs> Draven Inspector, Rogren Triumph. <laughs> We used to draw cards. All right, let's play the Spirited Companion first, I think. Snapcaster Mage, okay. So they're at eight. They have a Wandering Emperor. I could, I'm at four. I could go up to seven off Luris and then, and then Deluge for five, but that wouldn't really work that well because then they have that Restless Anchorage. I could Snapcaster, go for the Throat, Kill the Chrome Host Seed Shark. Oh, this is tough. Um, there really isn't a way to get this Luris through. Not yet, at least. All right, so let's go snap. Go for the throat. Go for the throat, the Seed Shark. Play Thraben. I'm just going to play the Raugrin Triome because I've got enough ways to draw cards here. Attack Wandering Emperor for two and pass the turn, I think. I guess I could crack the clue now. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should, I should just crack the clue then, probably. They can flip Rona. What does that even do? Makes it, I don't want to hover over it. Well, I will. Makes it a 5-5. Five, five. And... Yeah, that's not a big deal. Okay, so now we're going to hit for three in the air with Restless Anchorage. Sounds good. Oh, if they attack with the Samurai, I'm definitely blocking with Luris. I have Savine's Reclamation. Oh, I was really hoping they would hit with that too. Okay, I go to one. Yeah, this is going to be a close game. No, oh, already is. <laughs> All right, crack my clue. They didn't use their map. Huh. Interesting. Emerald Collector. It's a great card, but not really what I'm looking for here. Lazav as well. Five cards left. Uh, I can kill the Wandering Emperor, but then that means my... The Restless Anchorage gets me. What happens if I attack with everything? They block Lurus and Snapcaster. They take some damage. All right. Oh, I should have played... I don't, I don't care about playing Bobble, honestly. Let's attack Wandering Emperor with those. Attack them with everything else. 
And I need to at least gain some life off Lurus here. They kind of shouldn't block Snapcaster Mage. It's actually what should happen. I don't have that much left. Oh, they just took it all down to one? Okay, that's odd. Mishra's Bobble. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, Bobble you, I guess? Let's see what their top card is. A Malcolm. Oh, that's going to be pretty bad. Yeah, all right. That was a risky maneuver on their part, but I think it's going to pay off. I, I don't really have anything that I can do here. I can play Emerald Collector and Lazav, and I guess hope that the card I draw off Bobble is an instant. I think that's the deal. And then, but even if I kill spell, I think I lose. I really don't want them to Rona this turn. If they don't Rona and they don't play Malcolm end of turn, oh, they're making a 2 2 flyer. That's kind of the same thing. All right, so if I draw a removal spell, I guess I win. I don't even know if I have one left. I have the minus three, minus three. Because now the animate, attack. And I mean, I guess I could have left one, one, uh, one spirit back, but boom. We are done, unfortunately. Alrighty, two and one. Let's see if we can uh, pick up a couple more wins here. Opponents on the play. So this isn't a turn one Inquisition, turn two Malcolm, but st still a fine hand. I get to probably just lead on Underground Mortuary and then kind of figure out from there. Prismatic Vista. We hope this isn't a Plains. Okay, Forest. Well, Forest Elf, still pretty good. Gilded Goose, all right. Let's just pass. Get a Surveil Land, end of turn, and then... Oh, Oracle, turn two, Oracle of the Alpha. Nice, so they shuffle in the Power Nine to their deck. Well, I'm still going to get an Underground Mortuary. And Surveil, oh, I'll keep Toxic Deluge on top. That's going to be nice. Shoop, Power Nine in. It's Inquisition, you know. Turn in Noah, Welcoming Vampire, Spirited Companion. I have Pest Infestation to eventually blow up Journey to Nowhere. I think I'm just going to take the Spirited Companion and hope that they draw a land here and can cast Welcoming Vampire. That would be ideal. I don't want them drawing with Spirited Companion. It makes it more likely they hit a piece of power. But also, like, uh, I just want them to go land welc uh, Welcoming Vampire and I wrath it all away. And if they... Ooh, blue... And they were the starting player, so yeah, they could not do that. All right, land. And I think I just put Luris into hand here. Because I just don't see how they don't play Welcoming Vampire this turn. We'll see, but one top. All right. Oh, they just didn't? Okay. Play a land, and I think... I just pass the turn. I could play Emerald Collector. That doesn't really do much. Could play Malcolm. That doesn't do a whole lot. I don't think I want to deluge away the Gilded Goose and the Oracle. That doesn't really seem like it does anything. I mean, Inquisitioning the Spirited Companion does make it more likely that I've got a Wrath, for sure. So, reasonable of them to not play here. Okay, they scry to the bottom. I'll go to 13. And then now they play the Welcoming Vampire. Okay. Mm, just take my turn. Oh, there's the Pest Infestation. Nice. I'm going to play Deluge. X equals three. And hope they don't have a Counterspell. Is the one last card. They might sack a... They could sack a food. Oh, they just had literal Counterspell. Sure. All right. Well, um, I guess I just passed the turn here. Because I'm still going to... Oh, I can't... Yeah, I can cast Sunfall next turn. I mean, maybe it's such that I should have cast Emerald Collector. But then they just don't journey it, and that seems kind of bad. All right, I go to six here. They draw land. Okay. I'll just take my turn, play a land. Sunfall. 
They can make a food here. And now it's like, their hand of journey to nowhere versus my hand of five cards and i also can kill journey to nowhere with pest infestation so i feel pretty good about this obviously they have like ancestral recall and time twister in the deck now like if they draw time twister this turn it'd be really good for them but luckily for me that's not the case all right um let's just collect some emeralds play rogue and Triumph. send in the token i think Got nothing better to do. And then end of turn, I can Malcolm. They're cracking their food, sure. Um, they have one card in hand. I mean, yeah, you gotta kill Emerald Collector if you can. All right, well, luckily the second counter spell, they didn't draw the second counter spell, so. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, that's a good play. If you have a different answer to Emerald Collector, if you're just going to let Emerald Collector hit you, don't think that's a great one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pump it. I don't need to deal three damage. Look at this. I draw a card, and then I draw a card, and then I get a Mox in my hand. Let's discard a Spyglass Siren. Oof. Look at this. And land. Mox. <laughs> I'm the first one to play a piece of power, even though they played Oracle of the Alpha. Spyglass Siren. And let's go ahead and use it on the Siren here. Draw land. All right, past the turn. I mean, this is this is basically exactly going to, according to plan here. You, you lure us, and then you lure us, and then you win. Just wrathed everything. It took a couple wraths, but that's all right. They don't have good blocks here, so they're going to take it. I think I actually will pump the Emerald Collector here. Feels like I don't need to spend my mana at this point. And I gain three off Luris. And I draw a card off both of those. I can discard a Marsh Flats now. Land. Pass the turn. Didn't use Luris that turn, I suppose. Oh, they drew the box. <laughs> All right, three and one. Let's keep going. All right. Battle against Fibblethip here. I'm on the play. Yeah, I like this hand. I'm going to go turn one, underground mortuary, turn two, or spirited companion. Seems like a good start. Okay. Uh, the only thing that's a little annoying about mortuary is I don't know what they're doing. So I'm not 100% sure. I'll keep the land, though. Lurus decks are so mana hungry. Feels feels like that's probably fine. Oh, Beaumont Courier. Oh, I love it. This hand's really good against Mono Red. This deck's also, I think, pretty good against, well, Mono Red or any red attacking deck. Like, first of all, Spirited Companion's just dunking on Beaumont Courier. And then, well, I guess I wish I'd been the Swamp. And then I have Deluge and Portable Hole and Blink of an Eye plus Luris itself. I am quite into it. Next turn, probably just Shattered Sanctum into Luris. We'll see, though. <laughs> Braid the Spirited Companion. <laughs> you love to see it. All right. I don't think they're going to crack Beaumont next turn. Oh, I guess Hinterland Harbor is even better. So I'm just going to go land, pick up Luris, and pass. Picking up Luris is so good with Wraths, because it's like a way to spend your mana that doesn't play into your Wrath and doesn't look that suspicious that I think often will make it so your opponents just play into it. Well, if they're not going to do that now, then I'll just go land Portable Hole, the Beaumont Courier. And see what they do. They can trade in those four cards for three new ones if they want. <laughs> Their hand must not be that great if they're thinking about it. All right, Beaumont down and then pass. Not going to play Luris until I can replay something. Mm -hmm. And even though I was hoping they would just play another creature last turn so I could deluge them. Oh, blue. I think this is still okay. What is going on here? If it's like a Malcolm or Fairy Mastermind, I might just go for it to throw it. Oh, they have a bounce spell and they're trying to... Oh, Prismari Command. Interesting. Um, sure. Deluge back online, but... Oh, you know, they... They kind of wanted to do that... Yeah, they definitely wanted to do that in response to the trigger, because the way these, these effects work nowadays, if you do that, then the Beaumont never leaves play, so that it would have the three cards, those three cards under it. Now, that's a pretty big cost here. Oh, Slickshot show off, sure. 
I mean, I could. So going to 14. Yeah, I think I'm just going to deluge these. I'm going to need to kill the Beaumont anyway. All right, go to nine. And I think Raugrin Trium is going to do the best for me. Oh, Lingering Souls is really nice. It's just Deluge for two. Pass, and then I have Blink plus Gopher to throw it up. I'm at seven, but hopefully I don't have too many more burn spells. And I'm going to get to replay Luris here. I kind of want to wait even one more turn on Luris. Um... Yeah, let's try doing that. The reason I say that is I want to be able to play Spirited Companion, but I also kind of want to have Blink of an Eye up to protect Luris. Bone Crusher to the face. Okay. Kind of wish I cast Gopher to Throat now on the thing. I don't really care about that too much. Okay, draw. Okay, so I drew the land. So let's go Luris. Replay Spirited Companion. Well, I'm glad I waited because they also have played their Bone Crusher. And I'm not going to attack now because I'll triple block the Bone Crusher if uh, if they attack. <laughs> kind of feel like they're going to try to kill my Luris. Searing Blood. Uh, well, that would be pretty good if they had, <laughs> if that resolved. <laughs> and they don't really have attacks. Oh. All right, I guess I'm pretty happy about this. If they have another card, they would have just killed Luris. So, well, look, <laughs> once again, we've traded everything off, and I'm recasting <laughs> Spirited Companions from the from the graveyard. Okay, tap land, and I'm going to play Lazav here. The only way I get really punished is if they played a Flash Flyer end of turn, and I didn't have Gopher to throw it up. But I don't want to count on Luris living because if Luris lives, I'm gonna I'm gonna win anyway. All right. Sack. Um, let's exile the Bone Crusher for now. How many cards in my graveyard? One, one, two, three. So dig costs five. Yeah, I don't need to crack a clue to deal two damage, I don't think. I'm going to play a land. I'm going to flashback Lingering Souls. And I really just need them to not draw five points of burn before I kill them. I can handle all their creatures fairly effectively. Their deck looks pretty good. Molten Impact, so it deals four damage. Note the excess damage with a boon, and when you cast instant, it deals damage to them. Okay, so I could turn that into a Bone Crusher, but it wouldn't actually stop the the impact from doing anything different. So I think I'm just going to allow it. And end of turn, dig, exiling, Wood of Foothills, Toxic Deluge, Blink. Actually, I don't even want to exile Blink because of the Snapcaster. And I'll just tap out. I mean, I won't be able to use a clue this turn. That's fine. Oh, Gold Vein Hydra looks great. And I guess exclude? No, do I even need exclude? They're at 16. So I'm going to Gold Vein Hydra. I'm hitting for three. So if I Gold Vein Hydra for five. Yeah, all right. Exclude seems fine then. Gold Vein Hydra. X equals five. And then... I have Exclude plus Gopher to throw it up, and I have exactly lethal next turn. Well, slightly more, because I can play an end-of-turn Snapcaster and hope they don't draw like a Fireball or something. Abbott. Whoa. <laughs> that's a nice one to exclude, and that's another dub. All right. Luris does it again. Boom. Well, let's go. All right. Four and one here. Doing pretty good about it. I'm on the play. Oh, I'm going to keep turn two Emerald Collector with a Blink of an Eye to bounce a blocker, perhaps. That's a fine hand. This Gold Vein Hydra has actually been a really nice pickup for this deck. I haven't played this much in Luris decks. Next time I Vintage Cube and drafting Luris, I'll have to have to consider that. Oh, this comes in untapped, and it makes it so the Emerald Collector threatens to hit as a 4-4. This card is so good. Like, this card's super underrated. Oh, Ledger Shredder? Okay. I don't care about that. You're going to do a block. I wouldn't advise doing that. <laughs> if they block, I just... Like, either way, I'm just getting a card for free here. 
If they block, I'll make it a 4-4, and if they don't, then I draw a card. If I could draw another card this turn, I'd get my Emerald, but maybe I'll have to wait for next turn when I use Blink of an Eye. I think I'm just going to play Lingering Souls. It is a crazy play to block here, I think. I don't know what your hand would have to be, but like the value of blocking here is extremely low. Um, all right. You're letting me cast Doomblade on your Ledger Shredder for free. I mean, I don't draw a card now, but instead of drawing a card, they had me draw a three mana Doomblade. <laughs> sure. Now, if they play a blocker, I can go uh, Blink of an Eye. I'm going to play my land first. I'm just going to attack. <laughs> they don't have anything. Ooh, this is gross. Uh, they have a bunch of mana up for counters. Let's just pass and I can blink whatever they play end of turn. I could tap out for Lingering Souls. I just don't really see a good reason to do that. Axebane Ferox. So, wow, I guess I can't actually blink that. Are they going to attack me? <laughs> That's the funny thing. Is like, is it good to attack? No, they're just... <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'll take my turn, sure. Savine's Reclamation. Play this and name Black. Attack with the Emerald Collector. I mean, they're clearly going to block, but I think that's fine with me. And then trade here, and then I have Savine's Reclamation up. So this was an Ancestral, kind of. Well, it traded for those two cards, and I drew a card off it. So, yeah, it was pretty pretty great. I did waste my mana that last turn. I thought there was a better chance that I'd be able to blink of an eye whatever they played. So I wish I had just cast the Lingering Souls. Oh, Ephemerate? Okay. Into Adeline. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I have enough action. Let's just cast this. Use my mana. Oh, Inquisition is great. Let's do that. That'll really help me play out my turns. Well, I take Adeline. I'm glad I blinked. They have Great Henge, and then Bonnie Paul's going to come down. Okay, but if I take Adeline, I can Sunfall the Bonnie Paul, so I'm just going to Luris and pass. Because I've got, I'm going to have to Sunfall next turn, because I have to deal with the... Uh, Bonnie Paul before Great Henge comes down. They have a Sunfall too. I gotta worry about that, but I'm sure I can figure that out. All right, land would still be good. Land, Sunfall, past the turn. No, I don't want to play a zero zero Hydra. So they're pretty far from casting a Great Henge. Well, not not so far, huh? Um. That's pretty annoying. I can qu almost Snapcaster Sunfall. I think I'm going to Snapcaster Blink of an Eye here. And kick it. Bounce that. Draw. Okay, land is great. Now they can replay. <laughs> They're going to replay Lyra and... Two, four. Yeah, eight mana. They can't cast the the henge. Uh, I'm going to attack. A little chump check here. They, they really should not block here. I'm a Lura stick. This is a crazy play to make. Uh, okay. So now... I think I'm just going to... Oh, I don't have the mana to Savine's Reclamation. Plus... Uh, Sunfall, unfortunately. I could Luris, Snap, Blink, but then, no, that doesn't really work very well. So let's go... Oh, wait, I don't have Blink anymore. Um, oh, I don't have... Not having triple white is actually kind of costing me here. I guess I'm going to have to try to grind through this, uh, this Great Henge. I don't really have a choice. I really wish this was a Thought Seize. That would have worked out a lot better. Um... So they're going to play Great Henge and just hope they didn't draw a creature. I have a lot of mana. I can Luris. I guess I, I guess I just have to play Luris. Play Emerald Collector. And I think just past the turn. I mean, if they don't draw a creature, this really isn't so bad. The Great Henge doesn't actually do anything unless they have a creature to play. And... I have a Luris drawing me cards every turn. They could Sunfall off the Great Henge. 
which wouldn't be like a completely crazy play to make. Oh, they're sending with those. Okay, I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, I'll take nine, that's fine. And then end of turn, Malcolm, attack. I'm gonna get my Mox Emerald out of this deal too. I like that. Boom, boom, boom. And if I find an answer to Great Henge, I'd be pretty happy. Oh, get lost. Does not kill the Great Henge. Okay. Um, I guess I'll discard a Lazav and then play it off Luris and get a Mox Emerald too, by the way. Mox, Lazav, and pass the turn. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually drawing a lot of cards here. Obviously, if they if they have a really good Great Henge turn, that would be bad for me. Destroy a creature enchantment or planeswalker. All right, I can turn that into a Adeline for a lot of damage. Buried in the garden. Okay. What are you burying in the garden? You're burying my Luris in the garden. Well, that's fine. I kind of like it because now it can't get Sunfold. Let's see, if they animate the Restless Prairie and attack, I'll just get lost the Lyra and play Fairy Mastermind. I guess I'm one short of, of doing something. Okay, these come in. Yeah, let's destroy the Lyra. They do get a chance. Actually, I want to kill the 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 restless prairie here because this way they can't use their map tokens either that's a pretty big game i'll lose my lazav that's fine i'm drawing like three cards to turn off all my various things yeah you can't use maps and then end of turn fairy mastermind i mean i guess do i want to play the fairy mastermind they have sunfall they're just definitely going to play it Am I, I'm only attacking for five. No, I'll play this. This is fine. Draw. Ex oh, exclude is amazing draw. Holy moly. All right. I don't want to play the Hydra yet because it is going to get Sunfalled. I do want to draw three cards, though. Draw. Draw. Uh, I could probably discard Portable Hole now. And I think I just passed the turn because they're just going to cast Sunfall this turn. I'm going to use Fairy Mastermind, I think. To draw. Oh, I should have pumped the Emerald Collector actually. Oh, okay. Fairy Mastermind. Draw. Draw. Okay, Sunfall resolves. Mm, I can't go for to throw out the token, unfortunately. Jugan defends the temple to make a 2 2. Oh, but this is non token. Nice. Okay. I, I like that. And then they're going to map it. Oh. Why can't I? Oh, did it, did it tap all my black mana? Why? Oh, because I didn't have go for the throat in my hand. That's fair. That's fair. They got to they got to Meliotopia's Sprawl. It would have been really nice to have them draw that card. All right, all right. And then Wandering Emperor. That doesn't even seem good. Oh, with, I would not keep the Wandering Emperor here, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play Goldvein Hydra. Do I want to leave up Exclude? Let's see, three. So I'd play a Hydra as a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I think that's probably good. What is chapter two? Oh. Yeah, let's play this. Attack. Pass the turn. Uh, upkeep, they're going to make this into a 4-4, four, four, and then they're going to get two counters off on it. So it's a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, I don't think the one card in their hand is that likely to be a creature, so maybe I didn't need to leave up Exclude this turn. But I'm also fine casting a Gopher to throw it here. They could attack with their 5-5. Five, five, and then they get to Wandering Emperor it. Um... All right, I'm actually in for that. Yep, because I 
getting six treasure tokens feels like it's going to go a long way here. Mm -hmm. Just dies. End of turn, I'll probably... What does this thing do? Uh, I guess that thing's pretty good too. Let me just see if I can find a sweeper here. You would feel like at some point I might... <laughs> Be able to pest infestation or one of my sweepers pest infestation kind of ends the game as well All right map token on the spyglass siren Okay, and I can get back portable hole with Savine's reclamation, which I think is probably fine Because I and go get that six six out of here And I still have millions of mana. Let's go lingering souls Shattered Sanctum. And actually, hold on, I want to flash back Lingering Souls. And I'm going to use, probably use Gopher to throw it here at some point. It'll depend. And I, if I, if they play any creature, obviously I'm excluding it. Oh, that, that works for that. Okay, sure. Because that's not a token, right, right, right. Oh, that could be bad because now they could have two creatures this turn. Like, I don't think they had a creature at the start of their turn, but they could definitely, uh, Oh, right. Okay. I probably should have go for a throw the Remnant of the Rising Star. Like, this is not, like, maybe the ideal way to, to play this game. Though I don't think the 7-7 the seven, seven Samurai is going to matter too much. Because when I drop Pest Infestation, I get my Luris back, too. I do have to worry about getting decked, I suppose. Do they have creatures in their deck? <laughs> they don't have very many cards left. Uh... Sure, I'll take four, I think. Okay, go for the throat, the remnant of the rising star. Sacking a treasure. Draw. Oh, spirited companion, let's go. <laughs> One thing this deck is lacking, which I would have not minded, is a, um, a, a creature land. All right, now I get to exile a bunch of cards. I have Snapcaster, so I do have to remember I don't want to exile everything. Um, I guess I'll exile the Sunfall. And probably the Get Lost and keep Gopher to Throat. Oh, and exile Goldvein. No, 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 I can play that off Loris. That might, might be fine still. I still have a ton of mana. I get to see basically my whole deck at this point. Okay, I want Pest Infestation, and I don't really want Toxic Deluge. And I guess Mishra's Bauble. Okay, I'll put these all on the bottom. Uh, what now? Pest Infestation, X equals 4. I don't, And I need to keep Exclude up, so yeah, that, that kind of works. Let's play Bauble. Let's see what their top card is. Mm -hmm. Teferi Hero of Dominary. Okay. Uh, X equals two. Kill these two. I mean, I hope they don't have a counter spell. They have something. But it would be bad if it was a counter. I will say that. All right. Luris comes in. And I think I actually do want to play Lazav. Because that leaves it exclude, which I don't even think I'm going to have to play because I think they're playing Teferi next turn. And then attack Wandering Emperor with those four, attack them with one. I'll over attack in case they have a removal spell. If they have another way to exile Luris, it's kind of annoying. Oh, settle the wreckage. Sure, I have two basics left. Um, does it help? I have nothing much I want to draw. Do I want... How many turns do I need? I think I'll just decline. I don't really need the mana. I'm going to... This uh, Lazav is going to be a big part of killing them, I think. Lazav on Lyra or Adeline is going to be pretty nice. Okay, yeah, they just drew a card, which I think is... Probably what they're supposed to do here. Yeah, Lazav can kill 
thing next time. All right, source to plowshares. I don't even know if Luris is better to kill than Lazav, honestly, at this point in time. But they're running it. Let's go. Um, end of turn, or next turn, I can Savine's Reclamation back Snapcaster to recast a big pest infestation. That might be <laughs> an actual thing I do, yeah. Taps for a green, too. Cool. All right, I'll block the 7-7. Seven, seven. I'll take four. Well, really three, because I'll gain a life back. Then they're going to make a... Make an idiot, probably. Okay. Um, so, what do I do now? I'm glad I didn't fetch any lands, because Lazav also... Man, so... I guess if I turn it into Adeline, I gain a bunch of life, but... I can, if I kill, I can't kill the, oh, I, okay. How do I do this? I think what I do is I flashback Snapcaster. And then I copy this on, I guess, the, the, the bobble, though I'm not really going to do that. And then I think I'm just going to get Gopher to Throat, Gopher to Throat this thing. I just have to, I have to get uh, blockers out of the way because Lazav kills Teferi and then those kill Wandering Emperor because Lazav is going to eat. Oh, yeah, this is cool. All right, Lazav eats Lyra. Crack a clue to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And kill both their Planeswalkers. It's going to be... It's going to be close on cards here, I think. They had a lot of extra stuff. Uh, I'll play Thraben. And play Mortuary, and I'm just going to leave it on top no matter what it is. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough turns left to kill them, especially since they played Great Henge, then they played 10 spells in a row. Do they have any creatures in their deck? I just played Swords, Settle, Teferi, Wandering Emperor. <laughs> this excludes been rotting in my hand. I, yeah, I might actually get decked here. Because I don't think I have enough time left to... to kill. <laughs> it's not a creature either. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm done. Wow. We got out, out grinded by green-white. But uh, yeah, we needed like one more big threat to win that game. Huh. Interesting. I guess I should have... I needed to save the Hydra a little bit longer. All right. Let's battle. Let's see if we can uh, salvage this. 4-2, good record, but uh, we'd like to get 7. All right. Next game, opponents on the play. Yeah, this hand's fine. I can I can turn one Inquisition. I can make Captivating Crossroads into black. Oh, yeah, then that's great then. Turn on Inquisition, turn two Lazav is a pretty good start. Okay, they got some good ones here. They're on the play, so I can't exclude the Nadu, but I'll still just take the Fable, because Fable's busted. <laughs> Draw. Well, let's just play Lazav then. They can play their Nadu if they want. They can fight fire with fire. That wouldn't be crazy. And then uh, if I draw an untapped land, I'd be really happy here. Okay, Nadu. Oh, interesting. Let's go Emerald Collector, play a land, pass the turn. Okay, unless they have ways to self-target Nadu, it's just going to be a decent card here. They can't attack all that well. I guess they, they have to decide what to kill with Fight with Fire, and then I kind of just hope to draw lands from here. All right, they, I think, correctly killed Emerald Collector. That's not a land. All right. I'm just going to exclude the Uro, I guess, is going to be my play, assuming that's what they do this turn. No Thieving Aven? Well, I'm just going to exclude that, too. <laughs> okay. Bob Lorino. Land. Okay, there's a land. And I could 
Snap Inquisition? That doesn't really sound great. I could dig through time this turn. I would lose the ability to flashback Bobble. Hold on. Or uh, the drawing Hallowed Fountain. That's still probably decent is my guess. And attacking with Lazav doesn't seem particularly great. I could also put Lurus in the hand, but I think given where I'm at, I think I'd rather do that. Let's, let's draw a card. Let's see. If I draw a good spell to cast this turn, that's a different animal. Oh, that's a good thing to bring back with Lurus. So yeah. Oh, they just have Fury. Oh, okay. That's great. Well, no, that's not great. They're going to target their Nadu and draw a card as well. No, they didn't. Hmm, opponent. I, I, I honestly feel bad for you. All right, let's dig. And I think I actually just leave Bobble in the graveyard. And I want a land that can cast... Well, I have double black. I have double white. I don't have green yet. Okay, so I'll definitely want Temple Garden. And probably Blink of an Eye. I don't think Portable Hole looks amazing. Okay, boom. Sunfall. <laughs> Honestly, there's some argument to just like targeting both their creatures, but no, killing Lazav was good. Oh, I guess Lazav was a way to exile Uro, but yeah, I'm not that worried about Uro. Sunfall even exiled, so that was pretty nice. All right, let's start with Spirited Companion. I would really like to draw a land here. Okay, land. Snap doesn't do much. Let's play Spyglass Siren and put Lurus into hand. And ship the turn here. We're, we're trying to grind him out. That's our plan. Mm -hmm. Repealing my token into turn. Sure. Well, that gets them closer to Uro. They're one card off. Golos, huh? Okay, I hope they don't get Field of the Dead. That actually would be a problem if that's in the queue by... I think it is. Yeah. Pretty sure I've seen it. To get a surveil land. Yeah, that's decent. All right. Well, I guess I kind of want to kill Golos, but I don't really have a good way to do that. Mm. <laughs> I have Snapcaster, but that's not doing much for me. I have Lurus. Lurus Bobble. I mean, I guess I could blink Golos with Kicker and kind of see what I draw. Yeah, it doesn't do much for me. Wait, does it get a... Oh, it doesn't get an untapped land. Funny. <laughs> thought it did. Uh, Savine's Reclamation. That's a great one to mill. And I think I'll just put a counter on the Siren and mill a Malcolm. All right. I mean, I don't... Love this, but I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do here. They can bring back Uro this turn and play Golos if they have an untapped land. And then then that's actually fine, because then I go Snapcaster, Sunfall again. <laughs> no, they need to play a land and play Golos. It's okay, I guess I can just go for the throw at the Uro. That'll be the way I get rid of it. Or they play, well, I guess you really do want to Sunfall the Uro, though. Maybe maybe they'll play another creature. Oh, Ill-Timed Explosion? They're just going to draw two. I wouldn't imagine they're going to discard. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. I have a 2-2 two, two, and a 1-1 one, one in play. Okay. That's odd. I, I, don't, I don't get that. Um, oh, I guess it, just, it gets cards in the graveyard for Uro. Sure, I guess that's kind of the idea. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to play a Gigantic Hydra and play a 7-7 seven, seven Hydra. Because I get to attack for 7, and they can't attack Uro into it unless they have a removal spell. And if they kill it, I get 7 tokens. And I'm actually only 1 mana short of going Gopher to throw up my own Hydra, Snapcaster, Sunfall. Alright, I'll block. You know, the way these games have been going, I kind of 
wish I had like one. Oh, perfect. I mean, I guess not perfect, and that's a thing that stays in play even after Sunfall, but I really don't mind it. But yeah, I could use like one more big thing it's kind of feeling like. Um, Snapcaster Blink of an Eye is also a thing I could do. Let's see. I could make a 1-1. One, one. One, one idiot. I could Savine's Reclamation a couple things back, but that seems kind of bad. I could also snap Dig. I have so much mana. Hold on, let me just crack this Marsh Flats. And what do I have? Get Lost can kill the Sky Sovereign, and, and of course Pest Infestation. And then I have <laughs> kind of air after that. <laughs> uh, I guess I could Lingering Souls. Yeah, let's go Lingering Souls, Luris. Uh, Spirited Companion and pass the turn. I I basically don't mind Sky Sovereign killing the Luris here, because if they do that, then when I Sunfall off Snapcaster, which is looking reasonably likely, I can get it back. Okay. That's a worm coil, all right. I guess the Uro's not that close to coming back. Yeah, in comes that. I really don't mind the Luris dying, and I will chump here so I don't go to three. Into Surgical Metamorph? Make another worm coil? Okay. Uh... Attack for one. I think I'm going to Sunfall away the two Worm Coils. I don't know. It seems fine. Snapcaster Mage. Sunfall. And I basically need to find Pest Infestation at some point here. And land Flashback Lingering Souls. Because they're going to get to crew their thing. This costs one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, so I can actually play this and make it survive the Sky Sovereign. Uro, Uro is going to be a little annoying, but they can't bring it back too many times. And Pest Infestation at some point is just going to be awesome. So basically, the Pest Infestation and the Hydra, like the big spells, have been really good. Oh, the dog came in. Gotta, gotta say hi. Um, but the and, and it looks like I could use more of those. Uh, gonna kill my evolved sleeper, sure. Yeah. Golos, crew, sky sovereign, and this gopher to throat rotting in my hand. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna have to use gopher to throat on that thing. So the question now is, do I go to three or not? Oh, they're not attacking. Okay, so I guess that's not the question. Let's just draw. Deluge is not amazing. Though, mm, it actually might be, might be fine. <laughs> I'm going to attack Chandra with both of these and hope they crew the Sky Sovereign. No, they didn't crew the Sky Sovereign. No, I don't love that. All right, now... really just need that pest infestation, but I can't find it right now. I'm at nine. So if I deluge the Golos, I die to the Sky Sovereign, so I probably don't want to do that. So I think what I'm going to do here, Sabine's Reclamation back Luris. Mm -hmm. Copy it. Bring back Evolves Sleeper, and then Luris brings back Spyglass Siren, and I'll map token the Evolved Sleeper, I guess. 
draw an island. Play a land, pass the turn. And they get to activate Golos. Eesh. I don't love that. Okay. Golos into Solemn Volcanic Spite Dragon Skull Summit. Okay. <laughs> this might be a like trying to deck them sort of thing, though. Honestly, the the pest infestation is gonna be is gonna be kind of awesome. I'm gonna cast it for like 20 million. It's not been removed somehow, right? Volcanic spite the Luris. Yeah, yeah, Luris down. They cycled something. And now they can bring back Uro. Mm. They're not actually gonna be able to attack with Uro that many times. They have seven cards in their deck. All right. Crew the sovereign, the sky sovereign, and blow up the spyglass siren, and then I go to three, so I can't even deluge anymore. Yep. All right, all right. I take my turn. Portable hole. Well, that doesn't do anything. Um. <laughs> It's time to pump the Evolved Sleeper, baby. <laughs> and Uno Mas. Draw. Oh, Get Lost. That's a nice one. Okay. I guess then I pass the turn. We're on, we're on plan decking them. They can crack their Bloodstained Mire. I can't... I don't know how likely it is they have something or that they want to get a land. Oh, they did get a land. Okay. It really makes it so they can't activate Golos anymore or attack with Uro very easily. They have five cards left. I think I might be able to deck that. <laughs> that that's a change. Oh, except not. Um. Okay. I didn't expect a breach the multiverse. Do I have any way to make them draw a card? I guess not. I could draw a card in response, but I don't think there's. This deck doesn't have a counterspell either. I guess I will draw a card, go to one. Okay, um, sure. What did they mill? An Atali, a Metamorph? Metamorph your, uh, Metamorph the... The Uro? If I had a way to put Fairy Mastermind... Oh, if I drew Fairy Mastermind, I could draw the game. Ha! Huh, that would have been sick. <laughs> Wait, you may draw a card when it dies? Come on! That would never say that these days. All right, Itali resolves and does nothing. <laughs> Come on, descend with Uro. It's fine. <laughs> no, you don't have to think this long. It, it, it works or it doesn't. Attacking with the Sky Sovereign isn't really going to change a whole lot, but okay. I'm just gonna get lost the solemn simulacrum. <laughs> oh, they conceded! They conceded! Are you kidding me? <sighs> this game really delivered. Oh my god, I can't believe we won that. That's amazing. Oh, geez. All right, well, in that case, you know what? <laughs> I clicked on the hideaway thing. I don't want that. Uh, we are now five and two. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's keep going. We got a gift. Got to make the most of it. All right. After after that gift, I I don't I, I don't want to waste it. Let's see. We're five and two. Let's see if we can get the last two. Oh, I do like this hand on the play. And uh, actually, honestly, you know what? After this, I'm going to take a quick look at the sideboard. Is there like another expensive card I can play here? I, I feel like every every game I'm like really needing something. Oh, they're a Lutri deck. Kind of pricey is, is, is how it's felt. All right, let's slam. And then crack a clue, end of turn, and then turn three. Against Island Island Lutri, I think I'm just going to put Luris into my hand. Uh, all right, Temple Garden, that's fine. And send, and then I can play a Hydra, like, 
if they don't do anything, yeah, they, they, they're chilling. All right, let's go underground mortuary. I'll mill the swamp. I was hoping to mill something to bring back Luris. Send with this and pass the turn. They didn't do anything, huh? I'll probably cycle Raugrin Triome here. I don't think it's necessary that I have this one. Feels like a good way to use my mana. All right, let's send with the Raven Inspector here. I'll just play a Marsh Flats and pass. I don't think, I don't remember, I don't think I have another Surveil land here, unless I have maybe Meticulous Archive. All right, they're just gonna keep going land to go. Sure. Let's crack this, let's see what we see. Yeah, I don't have another Surveil land, right? Yeah. Okay, um, let's get a tapped Hallowed Fountain. I could play end of turn Snapcaster. Oh, Fairy Mastermind. There we go. I'm going to pay the two life on the Temple Garden. Maybe I'll play Fairy Mastermind and activate it end of turn. Who knows? But they're just not doing anything So and leaving their mana up every turn, so I don't really want to play into it. All right. End of turn, let's go Mastermind. Let's see what they do. We're gonna Spell Snare It. Okay. I guess I'll draw. Excludes kind of nice. Send with the Thraben. Pass the turn. Like, again, if they can't really use their mana that effectively, then I think even though we're both just kind of doing nothing here. It's not that bad for me. I guess this is kind of, this could be a bad matchup where I just have a bunch of removal and they have all spells. So I like, I don't really love that, but okay. Island is kind of nice. Let's play Island and send. I mean, if I'm lucky they'd activate the Anchorage and I could kill it. <laughs> okay. You gonna do something at some point? The Snapcaster Maging, Dig Through Time for seven mana. Slick Sequence as their only spell to kill my Thraben Inspector. That's kind of hard to imagine that's a good play, but I don't know what their hand is. <laughs> I would really be hard pressed to make that play, I'd say. I would love for them to play a creature that I could exclude. That would just be such a sick start to things. It's fine. If I have to discard, I'll discard like a Sunfall or something. Okay, they didn't play a land this turn. Draw. Oh, Emerald Collector? All right. That I will play. Do they have a counter spell? Feels like they should. Subtlety. Oh, one that I can one that I can counter. Let's hope this works. I don't think it's that likely to. I would be surprised if they didn't have another counter spell here, but mana drain? Ugh, okay. Uh, subtlety. I will put this on the top. I think Emerald Collector is pretty good. I can put Lutri into hand with the Mana Drain. That is pretty good. They could also animate Restless Anchorage if they want. I'll play a Cyba Siphoner. Oh my god. Alright. Get their Mana Drain back. I guess what I'm going to do is go for it to throw out the subtlety in response. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I wouldn't mind them mana draining the go for to throw it. Maybe I should have just done that, but this is fine. All right, so they're just going to pass now. Then I'm going to cast Emerald Collector because they can't really mana drain this. Or they could, but then I can play Lurus and replay it. Obviously, that could lead to some issues. My, you know, they could kill the... Luris or something like that. It's like I'll have Luris exposed, but Luris getting to replay something is a pretty big deal, so. Okay, well in that case, I'll definitely just pass. I have Snap Exclude up. If they played an expensive Flash creature end of turn. I have Get Lost up if they try to attack with the Restless Anchorage, though I don't think that's pretty high on their list. Because <laughs> they tapped down a bunch of blue to cast Cyber Siphoner, so. Makes sense that they uh, are done. Blade Splicer. Mm, yeah, let's make them use the Mana Drain. It also 
you, casting spells in your first main phase when you have mana drain is a little bit dicey. You end up in a spot where it can be a little awkward to use the mana. Counterspell instead. All right. Mm-hmm. And send with their siphoner. I can eat it with the emerald collector. No, oh, they they know what the card does. It's unlucky. All right, let's play Lazav. And pass the turn. We'll try to grind him out. They, you know, they went mana drain, siphoner back, counterspell, like obviously subtlety. Like they're they've got a lot of cards that are pretty good against me. Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, what do we get these days? I'm kind of curious. And how big of a threat is it? Dragon Wing Glider. That's pretty cool. So gives a creature plus two, plus two, flying in haste. And I can't kill it with uh, Get Lost. That's funny. All right, I'll take my turn. Mishra's Bobble. Um, I will bobble you. Resto. That's a really good one to know about. Slazov. There's Subtlety. And then crack a clue so that Lazal gets flying. And draw a card. Oh, actually, I should have waited on the Mishra's Bobble to set up Emerald Collector, maybe. And then let's play an Evolved Sleeper. Though I guess I tap my Swamp. <laughs> and pass the turn here. So this costs how much to equip? Five mana? Yeah, that's not going to be so bad. I mean, it's still going to be pretty good. Dragonwing Glider plus Stoneforge is pretty nice. But, hmm. Evolve Sleeper, maybe I shouldn't have played that, because now, now I can't use Get Lost plus Pump Emerald Collector, but I guess I'm not that big of a hurry to use Get Lost. Also, they're down to eight. What did they do? Paid life off Steam Vents. Oh, they three steps ahead. Counter target spell. Oh, no, I guess I have to use the... Thing I have to kill that. Okay. I don't think I play the Hydra for one. Just draw. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a little damage this turn, I suppose. They keep casting counter spells that aren't managing when they have manager in their hand, which, I mean, there's reasons they do all those things. Oh, Shadow Skull Smashing isn't a land. <laughs> Slight downside there, I guess. Unless they really wanted the counter, I, I suppose. Mm. Okay, and they hit Assimilation Aegis. Now oh, they got a nice little Stoneforge deck there. I hope they keep the Aegis because I have Pest Infestation. Oh, they didn't attack and they didn't put the Dragon into play? Okay, that's kind of a weird thing to do. Um... Spyglass Siren? I can't imagine that's going to get countered. Okay, let's put the map token on Lazav. Toxic Deluge. I will bin that. I already have Sunfall in hand. That's already still probably getting countered. I'm going to go for the Lurus again and... Or the Lazav. I don't think I want to turn in any of those things, so I think I just want to exile three steps ahead as a card to, that they could find. They are going to get to put Dragonwing Glider into play and block the Luris or the Lazav, but Lazav is going to be a 4 4 flyer, so they'll at least trade, and then if they want to spend the mana re equipping, that's also fine. Oh, Inquisition is pretty nice. Inquisition could definitely set up Sunfall or something like that next turn. I think I'll wait on it, though. I want them to leave up Mana Drain Mana before doing it. All right, we trade it off. I'm going to pass the turn. Because now they can spend five. Equip the Dragon Wing on their Golem is kind of a natural play to make. 
They could also put Lutri into hand, which is another reason I actually like the Inquisition. And if they equip on the, the, the Golem, I can just block with the uh, Spyglass Siren. And that would be reasonable too. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I feel like I feel like we're outmatched here. Oh my god, a treasure cruise. <laughs> At least they're not lootering it, I suppose. I feel like we're outmatched. I now even more, but before the card they literally put on the stack, I was gonna say I feel like we're doing okay, but now I kind of don't think we are anymore. Then again, they're at eight. They've made some plays that I feel like are pretty different than the plays I would have made this game. They're gonna equip now. That would be that would be wild. Like not attacking last turn was wild. So some of their sequencing stuff. I don't know. Just just different stuff than what I would have done. And we'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just cast Inquisition here. They can mana drain it. That's fine. I could just play a giant gold vein hydra. Yep, yeah, they have the mana drain. All right. So if I play a giant gold vein hydra, that's one thing. I could also Lurus and play like Fairy Mastermind or something, but I wouldn't be able to use it. I could also Sunfall, but that, that doesn't seem like it really solves it. If I make a 7 7 hydra, the attacks are pretty good. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. They've played a million counter spells already, so if they have another one, they have another one. <laughs> they have another one. All right. Mm. Let's pass. If they equip on dra the Dragon Wing, I might want to chump with the the Siren. I feel like with Dragon Wing in play, like I, I don't feel great about you know making too aggressive a plays. So they played one, two, three, four. Cyber Siphoner is five, six, seven counters so far. Can't say I'm not jealous, you know. Equipping the Stoneforge Mystic. I'm just attacking with that. That, yeah, I'll, I'll block it, I think. Because I do think I want to cast Sunfall. If they don't put Lutri into hand, it's just such a bad sign for me. <laughs> All right, land. Sunfall. Okay. I guess I'll pass the turn. I'll wait a turn on Luris here. I have 12 cards in deck. How did I get... Oh, I guess I just did some cantripping and surveilling because... Oh, that's a good sign. Because they have treasure... They, they use treasure crews... And I guess there's not a whole lot of other card draw. Just try. I'm trying to figure out why they have fewer cards, or I have fewer cards in deck. But I guess surveil plus it's like clue of three, even inspector, all that sort of thing, kind of adds up. Okay. You know what? I don't remember if I have something to fetch with this Woodard Foothills, and at this point, I'm not. I'm not stressing about it. I battled through a million things. Let's see what we have left to draw. I don't have anything left to get. All right. I have no hand disruption or counters. I have Savine's Reclamation, Dig Through Time, Malcolm Pest Infestation. Okay. Well, I get to activate the Incubator. So I drew Wooded Foothills as the literal worst card in my deck. That's cool. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> start by attacking for four. Okay. It's not too bad. Play Spirited Companion. Draw a card. Luris. Finally play it. Oh, they don't make me remove it. Interesting. Um, and if I, I could snap Inquisition. I kind of like doing that. Some of the spells they could play would not be hit by Inquisition, but... Yeah, what am I going to do here, right? Okay, Inquisition get lost. Yeah, Inquisition. I'm just going to play my land. So so if they have a Spell Pierce or something, which they haven't had an opportunity to cast right now, it doesn't do much. All right. Their hand is Resto, Horned Lockwell, Fracture Identity. 
They didn't cast anything end of turn, and they didn't horned Lockwell my 4-4 token? I don't really understand that, to be honest. They could fractured my Lurus, I guess. They, yeah, they're going to, but they don't have anything to cast with it, though they can <laughs> equip the Dragon Wing Glider and smash. That would be 10 mana. Yeah, that'd be their whole turn. They go to nine and then I attack back for seven. Yep. I mean, the way they have played this game kind of feels like they're just gonna pass now, leave up whale. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think that's what they should do also. I don't think attack equipping the glider is a very good idea. All right, pest infestation. I think I'm dead. So if I, instead of getting snap back, I could have cast a Lazav, I guess. Sure. Uh, I don't even think attacking is very fruitful here. They didn't play the whale either. Our opponent is extremely conservative, it seems like. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What are we hoping for here? Not that. Metamorph, make a dragon wing. <clears throat> Equip dragon wing to Luris. So they have two mana left, so they hit for nine. All right. I mean, if I draw a pest infestation here, it's actually a pretty big game. Portable hole has zero targets in play. All right, well, we got gifted a free a free game, opponent conceding to us killing Solemn Simulacrum. And I didn't win this game, but let me, I just want to look at the deck first of all and also see, should I actually have built this differently? I, I, I feel like maybe I could have put in, oh, no, not really. I could have put in an Usher of the Fallen or a Kellen, but that didn't, I don't think that would have been great. I just needed like a Fracture Identity or something like that. Or something big. It didn't have to be that. Because Pest Infestation and Goldvein Hydro were pretty good. But the other thing is, I, I just didn't really see any Counterspells. I had an Exclude. That last matchup, if I had had a Counterspell and either what, like a Spell Pierce or a Thought Seize or basically one more like Spell Interaction card, it would have been a lot better. Which I think was part of the problem with this deck. Like I had... How many removal spells? I had one Inquisition and one Pest Infestation as like non-creature stuff. Exclude still kind of counts as just creature interaction. And I just had a lot of like Blink of an Eye, I guess. Tons of sweepers and stuff. So I wish I had been able to like dial it a little such that I had like one more expensive card and one or two more counters or discard spells. But still, five wins and... uh you know what? We got a freebie. We'll take it. All right. That'll do it for today. I like the Arena Cube a lot. I appreciate you watching me draft it. And you know what? I'll be back tomorrow with another draft. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.